Good morning. It's great to be with you for morning devotions. And today we're looking at Psalm number 71. And we'll be singing a hymn that connects to it. In, uh, in Psalm 71, we get the words, You will increase my greatness and comfort me again. And so we're going we're gonna to sing this morning about how God is a great comfort. And the, the Advent hymn that uh, easily goes along with that is Comfort, Comfort Ye My People, number 347. We're going to sing stanzas one and two. And uh, we sang this uh, yesterday in worship. And so good to sing it once again with you today as we hear these, uh, these words that are also a proclamation from the prophet Isaiah. In, uh, in chapter 40, um, a lot of those um, references from Isaiah 40 verses 1 through 8 are here. But we'll also see how it connects to this psalm, Psalm 71. So let's sing this morning. Comfort, comfort ye my people, speak ye peace, thus saith our God. Comfort those who sit in darkness. Morning neath a sorrow's load. Speak ye to Jerusalem of the peace that waits for them. Tell her that her sins I cover and her warfare now is over. Yea, her sins our God will pardon. Blotting out each dark misdeed, all that well deserved his anger, he no more will see or heed. She has suffered many a day, now her griefs have passed away. God will change her pining sadness into ever-springing gladness. So we hear the words from Psalm 71 this morning. In you, O Lord, do I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge to which I may continually come. You have given the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the unjust and cruel man. For you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. Upon you I have leaned from before my birth. You are he who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. I have been as a portent to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. Do not cast me off in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength is spent. For my enemies speak concerning me. Those who watch for my life consult together and say, God has forsaken him. Pursue and seize him, for there is none to deliver him. O oh God, be not far from me. O oh my God, make haste to help me. May my accusers be put to shame and consumed. With scorn and disgrace may they be covered who seek my hurt. But I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. My mouth will tell of your righteous acts, of your deeds, of salvation all the day, for their number is past my knowledge. With the mighty deeds of the Lord God, I will come. I'll remind them of your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, from my youth you have taught me, and I still proclaim your wondrous deeds. So even to old age and gray hairs, O oh God, do not forsake me until I proclaim your might to another generation, your power to all those to come. Your righteousness, O oh God, reaches to the heavens. You who have done great things, O God, who is like you? You have, made, you have made me see many troubles and calamities will revive me again. 
from the depths of the earth, you will bring me up again. You will increase my greatness and comfort me again. I will also praise you with the harp for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing praises to you with the lyre, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you. My soul also, which you have redeemed. And my tongue will talk of your righteous help all the day long. For they have been put to shame and disappointed who sought to do me hurt. I decided to grab uh, something from one of my children today, and thankfully he was uh, willing to give it up. This is uh, our youngest son's blanket, and it's actually not his uh, his main blanket, or his he calls uh, his his uh, his like cherished blanket his normal blanket. This is what he calls his backup blanket just in case the other one is is dirty or he can't find that one and he needs a, a blanket to snuggle with for nap time. It's very cute. Um, but for him, right, this blanket, especially the other one, it acts as a comfort, right? He's able to snuggle up in his bed and, uh, and just have a, a moment of, of quiet and peace when he is alone, maybe going down for his nap and he needs... Um, something to to really um, let him know that he's safe and he's secure and uh, and he doesn't have to worry about the time that he's spending you know in in that time of, of sleep or especially in the dark right the, this is a bit of what this uh, this psalmist is writing about in this idea of of comfort like he's saying God you have been there for me as a refuge, right? I have been able to come to you and you have covered me. As a child, right, we maybe have something like a, like a blanket or uh, something that, that uh, we sit with and, uh, and you know, it's, it's our, uh, it goes with us every day, wherever we go. Maybe you had small children who, who did the same thing. And, uh, and, and then we kind of cast those things aside and then, and then we say, okay, what, what is going to be the thing that I trust in, hold on to, am able to uh, cling to when, uh, when things get tough? Because in this psalm, we see a, it vacillates uh, back and forth. There is distress in, in the, the life of this person, and then there is the deliverance that God has given and an attitude of trust and hope saying, God, I know that this is what you have done for me since my youth, since I was little, since I, uh, you, you called me out of the womb and you covered me then, Lord, continue to cover me now. Be my deliverer. Uh, and you will increase my greatness and comfort me again. One of the other themes that, uh, that is helpful to, to see in this psalm is the idea of, of being called uh, a portent or a sign or an example, right? This is verse number seven. I have been as a portent to many. Solomon is, say, is saying, there's been a lot of difficulty and distress in my life. And at times it has been the thing that others have pointed to and said, you know what? Because of that, you could see that your God isn't for you. You can see that God isn't helping you. He's not there to deliver you. And the, the psalmist goes on to say, you know, you have been, Lord, my strong refuge who has continued to be the one that I can hold on to and cling to and have a firm footing on and trust in no matter what, uh, what life is, is throwing my way, what Satan throws at me day after day. What, uh, whatever I'm struggling with day after day, God, you have been there from my youth and even to the point where I have gray hair, my old age. And so then, there are two main themes that conclude this psalm. There's this great truth, that uh, you who have made me see many troubles and calamities will revive me again. From the depths of the earth, 
you will bring me up again. God will raise us up out of the difficulties that we have today and out of death and bring us to life. And that leads to these echoes and repeated uh, emphases in this psalm of praise of God. How he is the one that the psalmist can continue to come to praise with the harp and the lyre and shout for joy and sing praises because he has redeemed and this will be his eternal song. And so when we sing Psalm 71, uh, you, you can you know, pray it at any time. It is a great prayer. Uh, but it reminds us of the days of our life that God continues to mark. And whether you're young or you're old, like the person who wrote this psalm, you can say, God has been my hope and my trust. And no matter what people throw at me or life throws at me, people accuse me of being wrong about who my God is, or I struggle with finding comfort in him today, God will be there. He is the refuge and strength who continues to be that great comfort. And I pray he is that for you today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you have delivered me from the time of my youth to where I am today. And you have shown me how you have brought me out of the difficulties that I couldn't face on my own. That you have shown me your great promises fulfilled for the, the small things in life, but ultimately for my salvation, where you take me out of the depths of the earth and you will revive my soul and body to life again. God, I ask that you would fill me with this strength and hope today that as I see how you are my deliverer now, that you will be my deliverer on that great day as well. Throughout the days of my life, let these truths be my single hope. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.